We tip off this sectional semi Friday with our signature matchup featuring that senior laden Columbia City squad eyeing the program's farthest run in decades. The host Eagles must first beat formidable Huntington North for a chance at that title stage. The Vikings Marissa Trout hesitating for driving left side excellent extension on the way to a hard fought game high 18 points. But the three ball falling for CC senior sniper Kendra Sheets. Corner pocket, a tight team high 14 points as four Eagles hit double digits. Quick passing opens up a look for Tessa Tonkle. Another senior sharpshooter finds that friendly bounce, adds 10 points. Then the younger Tonkle, Anissa, the sophomore emerging as a key threat. And finally, Sheets sending it Molly Baker's way. She lays in 14 as the Eagles go up double digits in the first and never look back. 59 to 43. They run their sets well, they play great defense, and you can never overlook a team. Anybody can be anybody, and so that was our main mindset going in, even against Wayne. I mean, it's just one game at a time. Today was our most important game, tomorrow's our most important game now. And we just had to make sure we didn't overlook Huntington North. Uh, again, we just had to stay focused on what mattered, and we took one game at a time. A Homestead win would make a sectional rematch from last year's 46-45 Instant Classic at Columbia City. But first, Sparty must dispatch of New Haven. Going inside then out, Whitney Ankenbrook, bullseye from three. Then it's Olivia Fry on the theft. Homestead marching up court to Maya Epps. The sophomore star catches fire in the first. She's later open in the corner for Three more, Epps scoring 17 in a 69-26 Homestead win. The Spartans will play host to, will face host Columbia City for a sectional title tomorrow night at 7.30. Now let's check out the other 4A sectional in our area. We head over to Carroll for a couple games inside the Charger Fieldhouse. Coach Mark Redding and the Chargers taking on north side. Carroll pulling away in the second half. Open three-point look for Callie Mitchell, and she sends this through to extend that Carroll lead. Final seconds of the third now, mid-range jumper up and good for Haley Hawk. Carroll outscores North 22-2 in the quarter. Chargers coasting to victory. Lily George crashes the offensive glass, goes up strong to score, counting the bucket in the foul. George with 17 points, and Carroll wins by a 63-38 final. Snyder up next. The Panthers taken on DeKalb. Winner faces Carroll in that championship tomorrow night. Panthers look to Sierra Sims early. Some great footwork here for a fancy finish. Sims with 13 points tonight. Then, Jenea Donahue attacking on the drive. Hit as she falls to the floor. Count the bucket and the foul for Nene. She goes for 12. And Jordan Poole playing hard on both ends of the court. Leaps for the pass, breakup, and takeaway. Then quick to the rim for the land. Poole puts up 16, and Snyder moves on with a 66-39 win. A down to the wire clash between Concordia and Angola at the Garrett sectional. The cadets Olivia Bollinger letting it fly from far out. Concordia up just about all night long before Ava Bernard stings on the Hornets swipe. She spins in for the game time score. It's 40 apiece. Less than 30 seconds to go in this game. Concordia's Celesta Kaiser, open mid-range, makes the go-ahead bucket. Concordia advances in a classic, 45 to 42. You know Angola is a skilled team and they were going to answer back, so just making sure we just stuck with what we needed to do, calmed down and played the game and had fun. They kept coming back but we uh, kept our composure and kept pushing forward. Walking into the locker room, we were all hyped and excited for that win. The host Railroaders up next, trying to get by a tough Woodland squad. Warriors with a really strong start. Brooke Knibular with a little Tim Duncan jumper off glass. Warriors building up an early lead. Garrett battling to stay in it. Emma Lopato with the teardrop in the lane. Gets it to fall for the Railroaders. But it's Woodland's night. Open look coming up for Reagan Weidenhofer, and she'll send in this three-pointer. Woodland moves on to Saturday with a 49-36 win.